Croissor Pub to the Double Discounts PSN sale. Like and subscribe if you like saving yourself money, as I found over £280 worth of discounts in this sale. This sale is absolute garbage if you don't have PS Plus though, so if you don't have that, skip this sale and I'll see you in the next one. But for everyone else, let's look at the games. First up is Antiquia Lost. It was released in 2018, so it's 3 years old, and is on a 60% discount for the price of £4.79, which isn't too bad. This is a 2D retro RPG, set in the world of Edelstein, where dark clouds are gathering over the world. You follow Bine and his friends, who set out to discover the truth of the world's real history. You get to control characters from the three different tribes of Fey, Ruta and Eeth. It features weapon refining, item harvesting, and mimicking monsters for powerful attacks. This looks like a pretty decent retro RPG, so if you're a fan of the old Final Fantasy games or Breath of Fire, then you might want to check this out. And hey, if you've never played a retro RPG before, at this price, you might just be tempted to check it out, so why not give it a try? Next we have a racing game, Cars 3 Driven to Win. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old and is on a discount of 80% for a price of £9.59, which isn't too bad for a Disney game, because those games are usually pretty expensive and they don't get discounted that much. This game is based on the Pixar movies, and you get to race over 20 customizable characters from the movies on over 20 tracks. It features 6 different game modes, battle racing, and 4 player local co-op. This game actually looks really really good. The battle racing mode basically looks like a Mario Kart ripoff, but it looks like a really decent quality game with a good budget and great licensing if you're a fan of the movies. So if you're looking for an arcade racer or a Mario Kart ripoff or maybe a game you can play with your kids, this looks like a really decent one. So if you're interested, it might be worth a look. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT Digital Deluxe Edition is our next game. It was released in 2018, so it's three years old and is on a 60% discount for the price of £15.99 which isn't too bad for something that has to pay for so many licensing fees. And this edition also includes the season pass of 6 extra characters. This fighting game has over 24 of Final Fantasy's legendary characters all assembled together to fight in 3v3 battles. It features 4 character classes, an RPG leveling system and a skirmish mode with special rule sets for a bit of extra variety as well. I'd never heard of this game before, but it looks like a pretty different fighting game. So if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy, or you're a big fan of fighting games and you like something a bit different, then you should definitely take a look at this, because it is very unique. But everyone else should look elsewhere, because I don't think this game will appeal to everyone. Our next game is a weird one. EA Star Wars Triple Bundle. It was released in 2020, so it's only a year old, but some of the games in the bundle are much older than that. It's on a 60% discount for the price of £31.99 which is not a great deal, and this is why it's a weird one. I've picked this for a very niche reason. This bundle includes Star Wars Battlefront 2, Jedi Fallen Order, and Squadrons. Now, this isn't a great deal in general, but if you're really desperate to get Jedi Fallen Order right now, this bundle is less than £10 more and includes two extra games. So if you're desperate, and I mean desperate to get Fallen Order right now, and you don't have the other two games, this might be a deal for you but it's going to be almost useless for most people, because this is a very niche situation. And in general, I would just say, wait for Jedi Fallen Order to discount a bit more instead. God of War 3 is our next game. It was released in 2015, so it's 6 years old, and it's on a 50% discount for the price of £7.99, which is really good for a PlayStation Hits collection game. This edition is remastered in full HD with all of the DLC included, and you get to play the final chapter of the original God of War trilogy as you unleash chaos upon the gods who portrayed you. And it now includes a new photo mode to capture and edit all the jaw-dropping action for yourself. This series was legendary back in the day, and they're great. If you never played them and you only played the new one, you should definitely check out the originals, especially if you can get hold of the first two, or the PSP ones as well, because they're all great fun. More old school next, Hitman HD Enhanced Collection. It was released in 2019, so it was two years old, and it's on a 74% discount for a price of £12.99, which isn't too bad for two good games. This collection includes both Hitman Blood Money and Absolution, remastered in 4K, 60 frames per second. These games are both assassin games from the Legendary series. 
In Blood Money, your fellow ICA agents are being murdered by a powerful rival agency, and you're next. Whereas in Absolution, you have been betrayed by the agency, and you're now being hunted by the police as you seek redemption in a corrupt world. I really enjoy the Hitman series, and I especially enjoy the modern series, and normally I would recommend the newer ones instead, but these are remastered, and you're getting two at a really good price. So, it's a good deal. If you've already played the modern ones and you're looking for more, you'll really enjoy these. But if you haven't played the modern ones, then it's a bit of a harder decision for you. Because they're newer, got better mechanics, bigger worlds, but they're more expensive in general. Oh, and they have VR support as well, that's a good one for some people. But in any case, if you like Assassin games, it's definitely worth checking these games out. Another remastered game next, Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. It was released in 2020, so it's only a year old, and it's on a 68% discount for the price of $7.99, which is really good. This edition includes all the DLC and is remastered in full HD. This open world third person shooter is set in 1940s New York, where you get to live the life of a gangster as you become entangled with the mob to pay your father's debts. And with your budgie Joe, you must work to prove yourself, climbing the family ladder for rewards, status, and consequences. Mafia 1 and 2 were huge back in the day, I mean they're basically GTA, Mafia, and they got a reputation for a reason. They were really good games then, and they're really good games now. So having them with all of the DLC included, and them being remastered, is a pretty good proposition. So if you've always wanted to join the Mafia, this might just be your chance. We have a racing game next, NASCAR Heat 5 Ultimate Edition. It was released in 2021, so it's brand new. And it's on a 60% discount for the price of £13.19, which isn't bad, as this edition includes all 6 DLC, including the Jimmy Johnson pack, Tony Stewart content, and more. This racing game features the official teams, drivers, and cars from the NASCAR National Series and the Extreme Dirt Tour. It includes 39 authentic tracks, an immersive career mode, quick races, test session mode, and both split screen and online multiplayer. So you are getting quite a bit for your money. But to be honest, if you're not a fan of NASCAR, this probably isn't the racing game for you. So if you're looking for a racer and you don't really mind what it is, you'll probably want to look elsewhere. But hey, if you're a fan of NASCAR, this is a pretty good deal for you. So why not take a look at it? Our next game is Revenant Saga. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old. And it's on a 60% discount for the price of £4.79, which is okay. This is an RPG where you've been turned into an immortal revenant with a demon contained within yourself. So you set out on a journey of revenge, meeting people along the way who have their own figurative demons. It features battle transformations and a weapon forging system. This is another old school RPG, and it features some cool mechanics as well. So if you like your RPGs old school, you should have a look at it. And I'd imagine anyone else probably won't be interested. So don't worry, just take a look around to the rest of the sale instead. Next up is my Star Buy, V-Rally 4 Ultimate Edition. It was released in 2018, so it's 3 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £11.99, which is a really good deal, as this edition includes over £30 worth of DLC, including 4 car packs. In this racer, you get to drive over 50 cars in Rally, Rallycross, Drift, Buggy and Hill Climb events, and it also features 2-player local co-op and an official guide to the game. So if you're in the market for a rally game, Check this out, and if you've never played one before, there are some better deals on older ones, so you might want to buy one of them instead. And the final game I have for you is Wise 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £14.39, which isn't bad. In this RPG, you are wake shipwrecked and stranded on a cursed island. With your fellow passengers, you build a village to fight the island's beasts and explore the mysterious ruins, trying to unravel the riddle of the island and its blue-haired maiden. This series has been around forever, and the games are always reviewed really well and generally well thought of. So if you're a fan of RPGs, you might want to take a look at this, although there's so many of these games around that if you're interested in the series, you can probably pick up the older ones cheaper at some point, so you might want to start there instead. But for anyone else looking for a good quality JRPG, you'll probably really enjoy this game, so you should at least look at it. And for anyone that's never played a game like this before, there are usually better deals on other franchises, so subscribe and keep checking my videos and you'll find a good deal at some point.
And that's all the games I have for you for the Double Discounts PSN sale. There wasn't a lot of great deals in this sale, but hey, I can only work with what I'm given, right? In any case, what do you guys think? Were there better games in the sale and I just couldn't find them? Or was my style by rubbish and I should have picked something else? Throw all of your complaints down in the comments and we can argue about it later. I hope you guys found some games you're interested in, but more importantly, I hope you guys saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Hoyle Vower.